This is the spot I think every Australian has to get to. There's nothing like a family holiday at Uluru. How many days of annual leave have you got saved up? Any idea? <laughs> How much leave have you got going? It uh, starts with A, ends with what? Correct. Because I've done the figures, it's nearly 20 weeks. Is it? If you do the math, that's almost five months of holidays that you've got sitting there in your back pocket that you haven't used. Yeah. I'm taking you on a holiday. Excellent. After you. This way? You're on holidays. One more surprise. Hi, Bye! Jump on in! When I saw them just sitting there, it was that was probably the best feeling of the, of the morning. It was that, okay, I'm going on a holiday and they're coming as well. We're about to spend a week in the red centre. We're flying to Uluru. Are you serious? Oh, man. Wow. What do you think of that? Look at that. That's magnificent. That is awesome. I can't believe it. Sydney this morning, Uluru this afternoon. That's just insane. Dad works really hard. We would like very much to spend more time with Dad on holidays. Once that sun comes up, you'll see the colours start happening out here on Uluru. It was very quiet, very serene, very peaceful. It gave you a lot of time to actually reflect and think. Sitting down with Cassidy and just hearing those stories, it impacted me, especially the focus that they had on the family and those stories. That's really, again, hit home to me. I guess how important that is for me. In terms of work, it's probably the first time during the trip that I just hadn't thought about it at all. Um, it's been the furthest thing from, from my mind. Here's to us actually having a time together. How amazing is that? Hey. We're all together today. <laughs> Mills family, meet soccer superstar Ned Zelich. <laughs> I mean, out of all the current and, and past players, Ned's probably the one that I admire the most. Talking with Ned, he, he certainly um, prioritised his family first. Um, doing something that he loves and that, um, that he wants to do. Um, but uh, from, from talking to him, he certainly um, had the family first. You know, no matter what it is that, um, that he's doing, they seem to come first. That is just amazing. <laughs> I've been waking up to that every morning. That's a day great view. Well, you it's didn't think it could get better until the blinds opened. Yeah, and, and then that's... to look out at that view, and you if someone had taken a picture and framed it on a wall, it wouldn't have lived up to that. Rob, I have heard that you're not great with heights, but a helicopter ride is a spectacular way to see the room. And this one has your name on it. This is just, this is unbelievable. I, I thought that um, the kids were a priority before they came away. Um, <laughs> it's been emotional. <laughs> Priorities have changed in a very simple way. Um, basically they've switched around. I'm still going to have a passion for work, but it's going to be number two. My kids are going to be number one. I think my bosses have started something that they're going to regret because when my annual leave form goes in now, it's going to be minimum two weeks. <laughs>